Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. We're back for day 14 um, of math lesson today. So we are going to go ahead and dig in again, starting with our word problem. We're keeping it the same every day. Um, so pen, paper and pencil, pause it if you need to. You guys know um, by now. So here's our word problem. Dakota is decorating her bedroom window. The window is 8 feet by 6 feet. She wants to cover the window in yellow fabric. How much fabric will she need? She has decided to decorate her kitchen window with the same fabric. The kitchen window is the same size as her bedroom window. How much fabric will she now need to cover both windows? So go ahead and pause it, work through it. When you're ready, go ahead and press play and we're gonna talk about it. All right, so you're ready. We're gonna talk through this problem together. So you should have your two answers, one for how much fabric she's gonna need um, for the first one, and then for the second question, how much she's gonna need for both windows now, all right? Um, so here you can see that she's gonna need 48 feet for the first one, um, and then now, to double that, because she now has two windows, 48 plus 48 is gonna give you your 96 feet for both windows. All right, if you want to see some more of this, you can pause this. Again, those Greg Tang resources for those word problems, that link is that first, um, that, that lesson 11, okay? That first link on lesson 11, you can always have some more word problems that you can create and, and be working on uh, if you want some more word problems to work on, okay? Another day of telling time to the nearest minute, okay? So you pause this video. Um, lesson 14, link number one, I want you to watch a video about telling time to the nearest minute. When you're done, I want you to come back. Um, today is a short lesson that we're just going to kind of review um, again, telling time in the nearest minute. Um, so come right back whenever you're done watching that video. You should have watched that lesson one link video, link one video, okay? Or lesson 14, excuse me, link one um, video about telling time. So we're going to dig into this, this first clock here. I want you to take a look at the hour hand, minute hand. All right, again, I'm looking at that hour hand. I'm seeing it's between one and two. I'm remembering that if it's not yet two, then it still has to be one. So my hour still is one. All right, my minute hand, looking there, it's past the seven. I know my six is 30. So five more would be 35. One more would be 36. So one, 36 is my time for this clock, okay? Go ahead and take a look at this one. See what you know about this clock. Look at your hour, look at your minute, look at everything you can see about this clock. See if you can figure out much about this clock. If you're sitting next to someone, if there's somebody around and you wanna talk about this clock, you can definitely pause this video, explain what you see, All right, maybe jot down what time you think it is on this clock, and we're going to talk about it. So to me, I see that my, my, my hour is pretty close to that 5. Okay, so my hour is 5. My minute hand is after the 2, so I know 5, 10. My, it's after the 10, but one more is 11. One more is 12. So 5, 12. My time is 5, 12. Okay. If you were to explain this to someone, or maybe jot down how you figured that out, how would you do that? Pause this video, jot down how you would explain telling time to somebody, or if, if somebody was given this clock and you had to describe to them how they would tell time, jot down maybe a description as to what would you do first, what would you do next? What if they were confused? How would you help them? Okay. Pause it and when you're ready, you can press play. Hopefully you have a really good description about how you would help others to be able to tell time. Hopefully it starts with that hour hand, looking at your hour, figuring out if it's in between two numbers, going that back because it's not quite that next hour yet. Looking at that minute, counting by fives for those big numbers, and then if it's in between, looking at those dashes to count by ones at that point. Okay, 
This last one I want you to try on your own. Okay, jot down, pause the video if you need to, jot down what time you think it is. Press play when you're ready. All right, I noticed that the hour hand is in between two and the three. But is it yet, is it two or is it three? It's not yet three, so it's still two, okay? That's how I know. And then I have my minute hand over here. I know my nine, and nine is 45 minutes. So I got a 45, and then it's in this dash right here is, oh, well, that's one more, 46. So I'm 246, okay? You should have wrote down 246 for you, okay? All right, additional learning opportunities for you. You can review any of those resources from the previous lesson, so lesson 11, lesson 12, or lesson 13. There's those links on the website for you that you can take a look at those. Any other telling time opportunities would be great for you. Always reviewing learning how to tell time is really important. We're gonna dig into something new tomorrow, still about learning, still about telling time, but it's a little bit deeper. So we have to learn how to tell time before we can kind of move on to that. So if you need any extra help on that, those are definitely some links that you can you can work on um, about telling time, okay? Um, those are definitely really important resources for you. And if you ever need help on those word problems, go back to that that lesson 11 link number one for those Greg Tang um, word creator, word problem creators for you to, to work on those, all right? Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And um, I hope you guys are working on telling time at home.